Good morning. I'm blaming this one entirely for the fact that I slept in this morning. <laughs> are you eating your own foot? Why are you doing this? Good morning everyone! Um, I've literally just woken up about three minutes ago. If you couldn't tell by my general appearance on my face right now, um, I actually slept in a little bit today. Thanks for this one! So we're gonna go for a walk, even though it's raining, and it looks pretty gross outside. Dog walking outfit in the morning, warm coat with a hood because it's raining, jeans, and the dog. I'm gonna go for a walkies! Uh, okay. Not that you really deserved it. It's so rainy. I really don't think Muna's even bothered that she's outside. She's not feeling the water today. Neither am I. Okay, back home now. Much, much warmer. How do I start this vlog off? So today is one of those days where I literally have so much to do that I am not doing any of it. I'm kind of sitting here procrastinating and making lists and planning things through rather than actually doing them. I don't know if anybody else does that. Let me know if you do. But yeah, when I have more than kind of four or five things on my to-do list, my brain just stops and um, I can't do any of them. So as well as actually doing my kind of normal everyday job work things um, and filming and editing, I'm also going to Paris tomorrow, which I am so excited about. But I need to pack for that and me and packing, we just don't get on. I am not a good packer whatsoever. I'm only going for one night, so I'm gonna try and keep it minimal and not go over the top, but I can see myself bringing kind of way more than I need, but I'm gonna keep a small suitcase and try not to bring anything more than that. Uh, yeah, so I have to pack for that and I kind of want to run out and grab a few things as well from town. Really didn't help that I got up super late today. I slept in, my alarm didn't wake me up, but I hate when that happens. <laughs> I am such a deep sleeper that it takes about four different alarms to actually get me risen. So um, yeah, that didn't work today. So I'm going to sit here now for probably another half an hour at the most, have some breakfast, try and wake my brain up that way, and then just get on with things. Ah, uh, I burnt my toast. Looking much more presentable now. Um, yeah, it's a lot later and I have gotten so much work done today, but I still have loads more to do. So I've come downstairs for a quick break, grabbing a water. Darren just got home as well and he's brought all this amazing looking food. I think England are playing tonight. Are England playing tonight? Yeah. Yes. Um, so we kind of have like a half barbecue thing, which I don't think we'll actually barbecue, we'll just um, make inside. So I've got some corn sausages and some buns, some salad. Look at Darren, he's bought four of these. Uh, one for every day that I'm away this week probably. Hello Ben and Jerry's. So I'm going to go back upstairs now, back to work. I have two more videos to film um, and I'm going to come down and edit one as I'm eating dinner and then hopefully upload that for today and, um, and then edit the other one tonight as well. So I'll have everything done and I can just chill out in Paris even though I am going to be working in Paris. I was actually just on the phone to Susie because Susie is who I'm going with. Just trying to kind of come up with some plans and decide what we're going to do. A few weeks ago we just decided that we really wanted to go to Paris because we go there quite a lot together and it's usually with brands and on press trips which are amazing but you never really get the chance to do um, things that you want to do and go wherever you kind of fancy so we just spontaneously booked a hotel and yeah it's going to be a really fun day. We're going to film a few videos there, maybe a kind of Paris get ready with me, something like that um, so you should be seeing that coming up next week. Also definitely going to make some kind of beeline towards Sephora. There's a few actual Sephora own brand stuff that I really want to get. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for things that I should pick up while I'm in the um, Paris Sephora, please let me know down below. I'm pretty sure you'll see this vlog before I get there. Um, so yeah, your recommendations are always helpful. I didn't actually have time to go into town here today though to get the bits that I needed um, because I just had so much to do here. But I think it's okay. I'm pretty much certain on the outfits that I'm going to be wearing in Paris. And I did get a very special delivery as well, which I think I will show you right now. Okay, I'm just gonna sit myself down on the bed here. So it's sale season at the moment. There are so many amazing sales going on and I just happened to look at Netta Porter and yeah, I got completely sucked into this purchase because I've actually been wanting a pair of these for so, so long and they're in the sale, which is just amazing. They're actually a really good discount too. So I got myself 
something in this very cute little Charlotte Olympia box. So let's just do a little unboxing while I sit here on the bed. Um, I love this packaging, it's so sweet. It's a little gold, little spider's web, the uh, logo for Charlotte Olympia. Um, so yeah, I've wanted these for a while and I wasn't sure which particular kind of version of them I wanted. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about already, but I saw these and they happened to be in the sale too and it was just fate. I haven't even really taken them out of the box properly yet because they literally just came a few hours ago. But these are the Charlotte Olympia Kitty Flats. And these are actually the flat brogue style. So they have little ankle straps. And they're actually just a really lovely version of the Kitty Flats. There's quite a few different kinds of these now. And I really like the original black ones. But I'm not such a fan of slip-on kind of ballerina sandals. But these I absolutely love. The whole style of this. The ankle strap. And then obviously the leopard print. Because I did get them in leopard print. I just thought these would be so amazing with an all black outfit. And I do wear a lot of black. And how cute. They're cats. I know I should probably get dog ones because I'm a dog owner now but I love kitten print and I love the leopard and just everything about this shoe is absolutely perfect so I'm so over the moon with these okay so I'm gonna get back to work now back to filming round two let's do this can you guess what I just filmed I now have an arm full of swatches which I kind of don't want to wash off because it looks pretty cool but I will because I am wearing white at the moment and knowing me this could all go terribly wrong dinner tonight is um a bit of an odd one we've got Hot dogs, well, meat-free hot dogs uh, with tomato sauce for some reason. The only thing I have tomato sauce on is hot dogs. Really strange, I don't like it any other way. And there's some salad on the side with probably way too much dressing, but just felt like having a lot of dressing. Okay, it's pretty late now, um, but I am sitting on the floor and I've just finished packing. I think I just finished packing. By the way, let's just ignore the mess in the background. Doesn't look great. Yes, so I think I'm done now, pretty much. I'm sure there's probably something that I've forgotten, but I'm pretty impressed that I've managed to fit everything in one suitcase. So let me show you what I've done. Oh my God, I just sat on my phone and I didn't realize what was going on. And I've just pocket cooled or kind of bum cooled somebody that I really shouldn't have cooled at half past one in the morning on a Tuesday. Well, that's gonna be embarrassing. Anyway, let me show you what's in my suitcase. So this little suitcase is actually such a good size. I picked this up in LA because I basically bought way too much stuff and had to buy another suitcase. Uh, but I think it's actually technically hand luggage size. Um, so really good, but I've managed to fit everything I need in here, I think. So this side is just clothes. I have, oh, what's this? I have pajamas, underwear, things like that. Some jeans and some clothes underneath there that I will be wearing uh, while I'm there. I have a pair of shoes that I'm bringing. And then this side is a bit more chaotic uh, so this little bag here I managed to pack all my beauty stuff in if I just open it up a little bit you'll see um, so I actually have a separate makeup bag in here if I can oh, get this out with basically all the makeup that I will be taking I might actually put this in my hand luggage bag because I am planning on doing my makeup on the train just because I'm not going to get to Paris until one in the afternoon and I don't really want to be putting my makeup on at five in the morning uh, so I might actually take that out um, but yeah, makeup is in that one. And then everything else here is just some little skincare bits. I've got um, my minimal skincare routine packed into here. And then a perfume as well. So that sits in there quite nicely. And then this is just a little bag full of camera chargers. Because I am bringing three cameras with me. Life of a vlogger. Um, and then hair straighteners, tripod. I've got my kind of shoulder cam, camera holder thing. My main camera, travel adapters, obviously super important, hairbrush, deodorant, some whey hair products, because I need to bring those with me, obviously. And then this Topshop bag is my hand luggage. It's a pretty good size, actually, this bag. I did a What's in My Bag video on it, if you want to see it a bit more in depth. But it fits in my laptop, which is the reason that I take it with me. This is the smaller little 12-inch MacBook, and it sits really nicely in this pocket here. So that will go in there, because this obviously needs to come everywhere with me. I've also got my passport. Let me just check my passport. Yeah, my passport is in there. And then I'm also bringing my Olympus pen um, alongside my other big camera and the vlogging camera that I'm currently vlogging on. I really want to test this out properly, so I'm going to kind of take most of my pictures, I think, if I do any kind of little photo diaries or kind of day to day Paris things I want to take it with these so I will see how that works out and then I just have some more wires more charges um, and electrical bits so that should be everything that goes in my bag so that is my packing I might also bring a smaller handbag because actually I don't think I'm going to be going to carry this around with me when I'm actually in Paris but apart from that I'm done uh, so I still need to wash my hair and paint my nails as well. So I'm gonna sign off for this vlog today. And I'm sorry it's been a bit of a here, there and everywhere kind of short vlog 
I've just been so busy today. I have had so much to do. Um, so yeah, my next vlog should be up either the day after tomorrow or in a couple of days time. And that will be my Paris vlog. I might even be able to squeeze in two Paris vlogs. Um, so we will see. But yeah, that'll be my next vlog. And then obviously there will be a video for you tomorrow. Oh, my hair is just looking a state right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you then. Bye. Thank you.